<laughs> Bonjour, mes amis. Hello, my friends. I am here in Paris and just had an amazing weekend frolicking around the city, meeting people, hanging out with old friends, the whole shebang. <laughs> this is an amazing city. It is pretty much like New York where Things are open, super late, there's so much to do, so much to eat. Overall, everything's been pretty interesting since the post-retreat. This is one of the retreats that I actually had left and after a few days in, I still feel so elated, so joyous. And I think it goes to show that by making the retreat as realistic to real life as possible. Leaving, I didn't feel the big slump of coming back into reality like I did on the other retreats. Transition back into real world after the last retreat was not that hard at all. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what I wanted to make a video about, but <gasps> yes. So my Airbnbs have been so challenging lately, in Paris especially. My first Airbnb, the bathroom was absolutely disgusting. The shower curtain had 30% mold and it, the walls of the bathroom were just absolutely disgusting. It was very clear that it was not ventilated very well. And then my current Airbnb that I'm at right now, so I rented a whole unit versus having a room in someone's apartment and my front door has no door knob and no key. It's a uh, hole that you stick your finger into to pull the door and to close it and uh, <laughs> these things would have normally caused me a lot of stress and anxiety in the past but after all these retreats I'm just <laughs> There's so many other things to worry about. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll kind of complain a little bit to get my front door installed. <laughs> but I'm still out and about doing my thing and um, I'm not too worried. If something happens to my stuff, something happens. <laughs> Everything in my life right now, I'm just living out of a backpack, is so uh, transient, impermanent that I think, I think the situations that are coming up in my life are presenting themselves as opportunities to learn more about myself. And uh, in this particular situation or these situations with the homes, I think it is teaching me to, one, manage and stand up for myself and get the things fixed, but two, also show compassion and not be super critical and harsh as I would have done in the past. And then three, focusing on the bigger picture and still going out and having fun and doing my own thing per use. <laughs> but anyway, overall doing so well. I love you all so very much. A tutela. See you later from Paris. I'll talk to you later. Bye.